Let's do another example of integration by parts, a somewhat more convoluted one. So here's our integral. I've of course already said we're using integration by parts, but still let's think this through. This is composition, e to the x squared. So it wouldn't be outrageous to try u substitution instead of integration by parts. U substitution does fail, though. We have an x cubed, not an x. So we'll try integration by parts. And to do integration by parts, we have this guideline, Lyot, that's supposed to help us select U. We have an algebraic function here, some kind of messy exponential thing here. Algebraic comes before exponential. So according to Lyot, this is what we ought to try. We should let u be the algebraic function. Well, if we do that, we run into instant failure. You see why I've called Lyot a rule of thumb rather than an absolute um, law. To find v, we'd need to be able to integrate this thing, and we cannot integrate this. I mean, give it a try, you will not succeed. So that didn't work. What if we let u be e to the x squared? d of e is x cubed. Well, at the very least, we can find both d u and v. That's the good news. The bad news comes when you actually take u of v, one fourth x to the fourth e to the x squared minus the integral of v du. The two and the one fourth give us one half. X times X to the fourth gives us X to the fifth. E to the X squared. So now what? This, this is even worse than the integral we started off with. We've taken this power and we've made it even bigger. So sometimes 
integration by parts requires a certain amount of experimentation. We couldn't integrate e to the x squared. That was the problem with letting dv be this exponential thing. What we could integrate, we could integrate x e to the x squared using u substitution. And you might think, well, that's all very well, but we don't have an x e to the x squared. But we do. We have an x times an x times an x e to the x squared. Let's give that a try. And now we'll again follow our guideline, this algebraic function A comes before the exponential e. So we'll try letting u be the algebraic function. And du is then the derivative of u. And this time, we will be able to find V. Let's do the work over here. If we're looking for the integral of this, we'll let U equal X squared DU equal 2X dx. We don't have a two, but that is certainly not a fundamental problem. We have dealt with stuff like that many times before. And we can, at the very least, find V. The antiderivative of E to the U is E to the U. Now, just because we can find V is no guarantee that things are going to work out. We were able to find V in that natural log times the sine of X example, but it didn't end up doing us any good. So we haven't completely failed before we've even begun, but it's still too early to begin celebrating. We plug these in to our integration by parts formula. 
you a time as a V. Minus the integral of V du one half, hold on, V times du, that one half and that two cancels. And we get X e to the x squared. Is this any better than what we started off with? Yes, because of this we can compute using u substitution. In fact, we did compute it using u substitution over here. And we found that this integral is one half e to the x squared. So, we have succeeded u of e minus the integral of v du plus our constant of integration. And this is, this was admittedly a kind of tricky problem. Um, I'm not going to pretend this was an obvious step. At the same time, it didn't come out of nowhere. We tried using like it, it failed. We tried ignoring like it it also failed. We asked ourselves why Lyot failed. It was because we couldn't integrate this. We asked ourselves, why couldn't we integrate this? Well, because we didn't have an X. And then we looked at this and we said, well, hold on, we do have an X in front of this term. It's just included in X cubed. So none of this was obvious, but it was, you know, the result of some thought. I'm not just pulling this out of the air because I'm the instructor and I know what how to do this. We did work through this and come to an answer.